What he does best after sadly having to miss the Masters. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, the other good thing, he just looks fit, healthy, happy, walking out to a big smile. So that chap doing his the same issue yesterday after testing. Anyway, it's uh, Mark Davis, who is a, has been a good player for a long time, of course. I'm looking to exploit any rustiness. He has been a very good player down the years, Davis, hasn't he? 20 ranking event quarterfinals, did in the car park. Five. As he goes in off. Mark Davis, five. But uh, after a bit of a... <laughs> ...regard tonight. Now ranked down at 45 in the world as a result of that. Quite nice to see a best of a nine event, isn't it? We don't get those very often now. Ten years ago. And responsible for the huge success that it's been down the years. One of the biggest crowds, of course, at that great arena in Berlin this year. It's not to be, but... Of course, all of these players just grateful to be playing, period, in these troubled times. So first blood to the... Great overview of the table from that angle, I always think. <coughs> you can see which red he'll be playing on. It's the right-hand red of the black, the low one. Seven. Yes, of course, he was missed at the Masters, clearly, and as was Jack Lizowski. We could never know whether it would have... 23. Well, that was a stretch for him. That you know, is terrific. We had some great winners. Everyone that's won it has deserved it. But it was strange that this year, to add in the qualifiers for this. But Judd survived it. 41. The final. Another one ticked off. in exactly the same way as though it was the World Championship. Oh, that wasn't the best of shots. And as a consequence, Jeff the break Trump ends. So that was, I still thought you'd get the red, but... It's over Ben Hancorn and then a final frame victory over Xiao Gadong. a better player now than he was earlier in his career I think or certainly not now but when he reached the English final and one or two of the other achievements that you mentioned the six reds take lightly yes on the year he made the English Open final he handsomely beat well he's put a bit of particularly close was it and once you miss those with the Reds as I mentioned very invitingly placed then one and with Trump coming back to the table already and the miss red to the left centre which would have frustrated him it's one he'd normally get no world Grand Prix just part of Christmas against Jet Lizowski, but the irony that they both. But the tour continues, and Jan is back now. And, you know, if he's to pick the German master up again. Having, of course, won a record six last season, who's to say that record might not be under threat? Twenty-nine. 
56. Yeah, I think he said that he, you know, he really, I guess, sitting watching it on the TV, isolating, then you 42. maybe can get your appetite for playing again, doing what he does best. It'd be interesting to see who could beat him this week with the tournament. He's kind of cut up a little bit, hasn't it? They have bowed out already. Four top 16 players left in is all there is. Eight. Get from black to yellow. Well, <laughs> not quite, but it's a reasonably encouraging start, he did think. So all things considered, a good start. And what a shot that was. How on earth did he pop that along that cushion? Well, that is the thing about Trump. OK, the frame's long since won, but he is... And he does it oh. with extraordinary regularity. Trump 57, Matt Davis. Winner to play Joe Perry in the round of 16, who won comfortably earlier on today against Dwayne Jones, who a couple of years ago made the semi-finals of this tournament. But... Uh, not the you know, that he was looking for there. Didn't lead 3-1 and didn't win the match. Okay. Understandable, he was not amused by all that you should win, and it's even tougher. Yeah, at one stage he needed three snookers in that frame, didn't he, Dominic Dale? Cover from the frustration of Nine. doing so. so you know, sloppy. The game punishes you, it always does. Oh, Trump 16. I think that's one of the ways that Trump has improved. Go was treated to a masterclass from Mark Williams. That was the season, of course, that Williams went on to win his third world title. And I think that day you've just Point. mentioned actually was the um, it was the day when we all realised that Mark Williams was back. I think about 20 minutes of play. At that point, we realised that. Uh, you know, great players don't just disappear if they're good enough. And Jan Bing Tao to win the Northern cool. Ireland Open in the final frame. He'd won the six Reds event going into the World Championship, which 12 months previously he hadn't even qualified for and was seriously... 12. But this is a very strong start from Trump. Got in once himself two or three frames down. It's a part of his game that's always been very strong, playing through bulk in one way or another round for Reds. And he plays a kind of snooker 25. that you don't really see it. It's sort of a, it really is something special. Just dragged it to the bottom jaw. Rogue applause, wasn't it? Not fake applause. And he won't get any applause for that shot. And if he does, there's something going wrong. Because that was. Uh, 25. Mark Davis it. On the head. One. Nice landing in behind that red. Six. It's a bit of one or one each, I should say. But he made absolutely nothing of that. Fourteen. Twenty two. Pocketed by Judd Trump. It's not been proved expensive. 29. By and large, he looks to be queuing very well. Although the three-time ranking event winner this season, of course. 56. She won for a third year running, beating Ronnie O'Sullivan for the third straight year in the title match for Christmas, the World Grand Prix, when Lazowski put together a what? furious 
burst of brilliance, but necessary to get over the winning line. Fifty-three. Well, he's coasting, really, I 56. think, here at the moment, without playing as we know he 60. can. He's Sixty-five. 71. 78 on the frame. A 75 the target. Joe Perry awaits the winner. Attempting to get in behind a bolt colour, but ways on the cards. But he's negotiated the comeback shot pretty well. In fact, it's very well played for Mark Davis. That's very safe. Probably, in some ways, an even bigger part of the game. At the standard of long potting that someone like Judd Trump is, is at, surely that can't be anywhere near reaching. Well, I'm miss. It goes. Goodness me. Well, I'll tell you, one. that escape one cushion. A bad shot, but it'll only be significant if Davis can do what he hasn't. Nine. That's okay. 15. So, with a couple of frames gone, Red scattered in the middle of the table here. Even that shot, you can see a couple of red go to the right middle from there. 23. More than 250 career centuries. He's made a couple of 147s. In fact, he made... 31. as it was not really going that way. Might open the floodgates for more players. Oh dear. Well, that is a that is the kind of shot you play when you know you should have made more of the chance. Fifty behind, but the table looking pretty inviting for a handy counter-attack here after Davis lost prime position and took on that very tricky red. I'll be honest, at no point I'd even consider that Mark Davis would go for that red. The one that left over the left corner, it was too thin. Had ground to a halt with failure to get the position he wanted. It's easy to do what he did there. And that looks very tight, doesn't it? And only just went. I think he could only pot it off the top jaw, and that's exactly how much of the black he hit. The black on, but very well executed in the end. Well. And Joe O'Connor has the first frame against Mark Joyce. Twenty-five. Well, he hasn't pushed any. Do it off of a red. Thirty-two. Might not wait until his next colour. It's one of his great assets, isn't it? Yeah, I don't think. But Forty. it's a question of the shot he plays on this pink. He might play. A bit unlucky with that little kiss, actually. John Trump, 46. Well, he was guilty of overhitting that. At that speed, it was always going to make the pot more difficult.
position like this. I'm not saying he's in a better position to beat Judd Trump because he's playing the world number one, but oh, in the end, he just hit it. Oh, it's a very poor shot. I mean, how did he end up playing that shot after all that thought? Bad shot, bad thinking. Why? And hitting the red in the way he did from... He can relax a little and hope to play his best snooker, which he'll certainly need if he's to... Pace here. Now I think he's under, again, a little more pressure on this next shot than he might have been. Wow, what a fluke. Wow, it looked as though it wouldn't cost him. Getting the green safe, though this frame is incident Five packed. Minutes. Now he's missed. Could be a free ball. Might do it is. Nothing. He's not going to get a better chance than this one, whatever, wherever the ball's ended up. Well, the first two frames, Davis. But then after Trump left Six. him in again, what a chance he's let slip. Just one frame behind. It looks like being three. Fifteen. Yes, as you say. Twenty-one. Well, Judd Trump has made errors in all three frames. Breaking off in frame four, knowing he should only be one behind. Instead, it's three. And Trump already within two frames of victory. The previous. And he had chances in a couple of, in, in the, both of the first two. One. This is where tenacity, mental strength, call it what you like. If he can win this frame, then he's still got a chance in this match. 13. Twenty-one. There's plenty of loose reds at this stage to get himself back on board, if you like. He might try that. 28. Time very straight on the black. 30. Now, will he try to get the bunch open now that the... So he decides against it. 44. Lost the previous frame from a long lead. The frame is not over by any means until he does put a couple more. I think he's okay. It's a fifty-six. got to play on that here. I think, uh, now, as you point out, I think he decided that it didn't go. Mark Davis, 70. Bittersweet, this really, for David. Some sort of chance on the other side of the interval if he can finish this one off. Yeah, like you were saying, I mean, one snooker is not an end of frame by any means. Uh, tell that to Steve. 
where the balls are. Uh, Pink being over the pocket isn't really in anyone's favour, certainly not in Trump's. This goes in, it is frame over. into a position where he could lay a snooker. It. Well, that's right. Now that the pink's away from... Well, that was... Uh, as they always play down to one red for obvious reasons. It's <laughs> less balls to hit. Anyway, that's a terrible shot. Trump, 15. And just one... Still unable to kill it off. One. Yes, he seems to be lacking confidence, Mark Davis. Listen, he's playing the world number one. So it, we. So he's a little rusty because these qualifiers are played in back in November, for this event. To level at one all. And Joe O'Connor now two 0 up on Mark Joyce. Go Trump it. Here he's playing. So lay into them. And that red surely sets the seal on this fourth frame. Well, better late than never, really, for Mark Davis. But it was a good break of 70 in the context of what had gone on previously in this frame. Eight. Which So he'll go into the interval feeling a little bit better than he did after the third frame. 